Hello, my name is Jana and I'm one of the Mind Apples trainers. So you'd normally find me standing up in front of a group and at this moment I'm in the luxurious position to be able to sit down and talk to you whilst looking at my laptop. So one of the things that we're hearing about for many of you right now is how important it is and how necessary it is to be adapting and changing the ways that we're looking after our well-being uh, when many of the things that we may have done before to take care of our mental health are not currently available to us. So I'm certainly aware of this as somebody that loves to have a massage or body work and I'm kind of trying to find ways of looking after my body with more baths or more exercise, moving my body more. And it is helpful, it's definitely helping. So I think knowing what we normally do and finding ways to adapt that right now is more important than ever. And on that note, I wanna share with you one of the tools that we talk about at Mind Apples regularly, which is called the Five Ways to Wellbeing from the New Economics Foundation. The first one is all about connection. And of course, right now, connecting with friends and family is more important than ever for feeling supported, feeling connected to not just other people, but also to ourselves. You know, we're all in our self-isolation bubble for many of us. And I think remembering that we're all in this situation together is really important and powerful. So for me, changing up the form that I'm connecting with people through is important. So not just video calls, but also, you know, maybe going online, playing a game with somebody, finding different and creative ways of connecting. The second in the five ways to well-being is all about being active. So depending on what we need, it could be that we need something more restorative or it could be that we need to get the body moving, get the, get the blood pumping. So at the end of the day, if I'm feeling really lethargic, I find that going for a brisk walk helps to get my rate, my heart rate up, um, but it could be that I'm feeling really exhausted and need to just do some yoga. Online, there's obviously many, many resources and I think there's a lot out there that's free at the current time to support people with their physical health. So I'd really encourage you to give that a go if you feel that moving your body more would be of benefit. The third is all about taking notice in the five ways to well-being. And I think this can be connected to the second and the first. They're all connected to each other. Um, but I'm just thinking of a piece of research that is all about how when we connect more with our senses, we are far more connected to our productivity as well. So um, I think often people think of practices like mindfulness as being just about well-being, but actually they have such a huge connection to the effectiveness with which we can get our work done. And I think when I tune into one of my senses, when I try to focus in on what I can hear inside and outside of a room, when I look at the colours or the forms of the things around me, you know, the colour of the wood on the shelves or maybe the colour of the leaves on a plant, it just helps to bring me back to the present and out of my mental patterns. And we can't do the same, we can't do them both at the same time. We can't be in our heads on a, on a thought loop and tuning into our senses, which is why it can be a very useful tool for bringing us back. The fourth in the five ways to well-being is about keeping learning and I think this one is great right now for those of us that do have a bit more time on our hands um, but if you're finding yourself struggling and you know literally just getting through the day at the moment I think it can be important to send ourselves some kindness and compassion that even if we have more time on our hands maybe this isn't the time to be learning a new language it could just be that we need to look after ourselves more so I think to not put pressure on ourselves to keep learning when it doesn't feel like something we want to do is quite important. And finally, the fifth in the five ways is about giving. And I find that when I give, I also receive so much. So if I send a card to a friend or send them some vitamin C or something to let them know I'm thinking of them, it makes me feel so supported as well. So what about you? What are the things that you're doing right now to maintain your mental health and your well-being, And how are you maybe adapting or changing that at the current time? Maybe there are five ways for you that always work regardless of the current situation. These are still true for you. So we'd love to hear from you. Please do get in touch. You might want to post a comment below or make your own video. And just be aware we're going to be sending lots more videos, lots more tip sheets, information for you to take a look at. Thank you.